Tonight, shark attacks raising fears from coast to coast. One of the latest serious incidents causing a 10-year-old boy to lose part of his leg after a bull shark attack, according to his family. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission confirming the boy was bitten while snorkeling at Lou Key Reef. His uncle posting on Facebook that Jameson Jr. took a crushing blow near his knee from an eight-foot bull shark. His family placing a tourniquet on his leg to stop the bleeding. He was then airlifted to the hospital where his leg was amputated just below the knee to save his life. The fundraising page for the family raising more than $50,000 in donations in just two days. This is at least the third shark attack in South Florida in less than a month. We're out at Sawyer Key on a boat. My wife just got bit by a shark. Her leg is set. Lindsay Bruns and her daughters jumped off a pontoon boat while on vacation from Texas when her husband saw splashing and, quote, nothing but blood in the water. Is she bleeding right now? Yeah, yeah, you have a towel wrapped around her leg? I do. We tied it off. Doctors weren't sure if they were going to be able to save her leg, but are now hopeful that she will gain back most of her function. Nearby at Daytona Beach Shores, Tasha Summers was bitten in the shin by a small shark. My first instinct was just to scream. And just a few days ago, a shark attacked David Stickler in Pacific Grove, California, while he was paddleboarding with his dog. Grabbed onto the front of the board and hit it hard, and that was really jarring. This encounter coming just two months after another man was bitten by a shark in that same area, suffering major injuries to his stomach and leg according to city officials. And it grabbed me and pulled me up and then dove me down in the water. And then, it, of course, it spit me out. Multiple shark attacks this summer off the coast of Long Island, too, including two in one day. With summer still in full force, experts say it's a little too soon to gauge whether these attacks are part of an increasing trend. While still rare, shark attacks jumped after 2020, at least in part, because people are now back at beaches after pandemic closures had many canceling vacations. All right, Stephen joins us now in studio. Stephen, I, I can't stop thinking about that little boy. Do we, do we know what he's doing tonight? Yeah, well, his uncle actually says that Jameson Jr. is out of surgery and he's resting. He's just trying to grasp what happened to him. As you can imagine, a 10-year-old takes some time to figure out exactly how he's going to live now. His aunt's also telling us that his 11th birthday is just a few weeks away. So right now, he's going to celebrate that he's alive and recovering and also has that birthday to celebrate, Tom.